In this tutorial, you'll learn how Mosier can be used to calculate volume in your measurements. This demonstration was filmed in Imperial, but in the settings menu, you can change to metric at any time. This mound is being measured so that it can be removed from the site. First, choose a memorable starting point to measure the perimeter using closed shape. Here, the straight line path was used to measure the perimeter, but you can use the path type that best suits your measurement. Once the perimeter is complete, do not stop the measurement. Simply select the path type titled Points. The Points path type allows you to capture elevated points of interest around your measurement. There are two methods to adopt here, either zigzag around the space inside the perimeter collecting points, or, as we did in this demonstration, spiral over the surface. Depending on the elevation of what you're measuring, you may find it easier to use your Mosier device without the stick, as we did on this site. You don't need to capture as many points as we did here, you can capture as many points as you like. Once you've captured enough points, you must return to your perimeter starting point for improved accuracy. You can then stop the measurement. Now you can tap the surface view to see the measured space. Underneath, you will also see the surface area and the volume measurement. You can also use the contours view to visualize elevation across the measured space. And finally, you can tap the edit icon to find the cut and fill tool. Once in here, you can figure out the amount you need to cut from the site to flatten it. You can move the slider down below or tap on the cut and fill options for exact measurements. You can also tap the net option to find the approximate zero net volume. Next, we will look at this yard with slight elevation changes. This site is being used to fill in and make level. Again, start by capturing the perimeter of the area you're measuring. Once complete and at your starting point, you then select the points path type again. On this site, the goal was to cover the whole yard in points, making sure all of the different elevation points were captured, no matter how subtle they may be. We used a grid pattern to collect points on this demonstration, but each site differs. The number of points you need to collect depends on the number of elevated points of interest there are. Once you've captured enough points, return to your perimeter starting point and then stop the measurement. From here, you can tap the surface view again to see your measurement. You can see the surface area and the volume measurement underneath the diagram. Don't forget, you can also view the contours here. And finally, edit, cut and fill and in here, again, you can move the slider down below or tap on the cut and fill options for exact measurements. You can also tap the net to find out the approximate zero net volume. If you return to the edit screen, you can also find the add depth icon. In here, you can either move the slider down below or tap the pen icon to add the exact depth you're after. For example, you could calculate the exact volume of mulch to cover this area with, say, 6 inches across the whole surface. So, to recap, measure the perimeter first. When back at your starting point, do not stop the measurement. Select the points path type option. Zigzag across or spiral around the space inside the perimeter, collecting as many points as necessary for the different elevation changes. Once you've captured enough points, you must return to your perimeter starting point for improved accuracy. Tap the surface view icon to see your completed measurement and volume calculation. You can find the additional tools within the edit menu.